back to another episode of Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we're going to be looking at some SB Dunk Lows. This was a collaboration done with FTC, and these are the Lagoon Pulse Metallic Silvers. Let's take a quick sneak peek. Welcome back to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe right now. Give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave those down below. Hit that notification box. We have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button for our amazing membership perks as well as our amazing merch store. As mentioned earlier, we're going to be talking about some SB Dunk Lows. This time it was a collaboration done with FTC. Then we are going to jump into the overview on these talk about size and fit and then how I style them and then conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So for those of you who don't know, this did release a little bit ago. So I have been a bit behind on my sneaker unboxings, but super excited to go through this because I think this was definitely a slept on collaboration and probably one of my favorite dunks that has a release. So let's definitely start off with this uh, overview, shall we? So for those of you who don't know about FTC and what FTC stands for, it is a Japan based skate shop but they do actually have a skate shop as well in San Francisco, as well as Barcelona. FTC actually stands for the city. So that's, if you were wondering why FTC for the city is that uh, namesake. So let's start off by talking about some of the inspiration behind this collaboration, as well as the details on the sneakers. So we do have nice high quality suede on the front of this tom the toe box in this light baby powder blue colorway. Working our way up, it has white laces. The mesh tongue is in the light blue as well. We do have the Nike SB on the front here, as well as the FTC embroidered in that nice, just simplistic white color scheme. On the front of the toe box, it is a really cool pattern in white. And for those of you wondering what this pattern is in relation to, it is a take on some of the indoor Japanese Sento bathhouses. And those are basically public community spaces where people go to recharge. And so that is what this looks like, kind of those bath tiles that you're seeing on the front here in the white. All right, so let's take a look at those details and then we're gonna work our way to the side panels. So I did forget to mention that this does come with a light blue laces. So if you're not feeling the white, you can add these light blue laces to the mix, which I think would actually be a nice little differentiation between having the white really pop off and have it as more of a muted look where this kind of just blends in with that meshing on the, the uh, tongue there. As we work our way around to the side panels, we have underlays of that light powder blue suede underneath this metallic silver swoosh mark. Again, more of those tilings that we see here that are representative of those Sento bathhouses. Working our way to the back, we do have FTC that's embroidered in that pop of light blue on top of that yellow uh, leather. And then underneath that, we've got more of that nice light blue suede. Working our way to the other side paneling, we've got more of that white bath paneling in white and then underlays of that light blue suede. And again, that metallic silver swoosh mark, which I think pops quite nicely and works quite nicely with the color scheme of this. As we work our way to the inside, you'll notice that we do have on the inside here, the kanji writing, which is really cool. So you can kind of see that on both. One is red and one is in that navy colorway on the 
uh, back of those tags. On the inside, we do have FTC and Nike SB in white, but we do have this really cool pattern. Let me try and get in here. Together, this actually, if you put them together, which is really cool, I'm gonna have to take these insoles out for you to see, but I'm looking at them kind of placed together and it shows Mount Fuji at sunrise and sunset. So really cool, just nice subtle detail that you can actually see when you put both of the insoles together. All right, so now let's work our way down to the bottom of the midsole, which are just a nice clean white colorway. And then we do have this really just icy translucent blue for the outsole. All right, let's take a look at those details. All right, so before we move on to size and fit, I just wanna give a little bit more backstory on these. So these were originally supposed to release to coincide with the Olympics in Japan, as well as the fact that FTC has done a few collaborations already. This is actually the fourth collaboration they've done with Nike SB, which is pretty cool. Originally, there was one in 2013, which was the SB Dunk Low, finally. And then they also had three other collaborations, one being the FC Classics and the other SB Blazers. So that was all in 2017. All right, now let's talk about size and fit on these. So again, these are the SB Dunks. I would recommend sticking true to size on this one. I'm a seven and a half in men's. Uh, we do have some extra cushioning and padding in that tongue. Uh, so I do like to have just a little bit of extra room, but not too much. I would highly recommend if you have higher arch feet and uh, ones that are narrow like myself to just follow in that direction. But if you do have flatter, wider feet, this could differentiate the size that works best for you. All right, so now let's talk about styling. Again, this is just a great summer colorway and the weather is kind of trying to get warm here in New York. It's trying, I say that, because it's either really cold lately or really hot, makes no sense, or just extremely humid out of nowhere. Uh, but anyways, for the first look, I wanted to really kind of add some of the colors that I saw throughout the shoe, specifically the inner lining of this, which is yellow. So for the first look, I decided to wear a all over yellow look for a yellow color combination with this blue. So I went with a yellow blazer with matching pants in that yellow color and I think it really just gave it this nice upscale kind of look, but also keeping it slightly casual. So for the second look, I decided to wear a floral printed dress in denim. I think denim is definitely gonna work nicely with these shoes just because of all the blue hues that you see throughout. to just keep it nice clean and simple with an all white look so i decided to wear a white tee with some matching white pants
you let me know down below what was your favorite look out of the three or how would you style these? Now let's conclude with how these are currently doing on the resale market. So these retailed at $110 as we know, Dung's are just always at a great price point. Uh, but these are going between 250 to 400, depending on what size you are. All right, that's it for this unboxing and review. Thanks so much everyone who tuned in here for the first time. Hit that subscribe if you have not already, give this video a thumbs up. If you have any comments or questions, leave those down below. Hit that notification box. We do have a ton of heat coming out, but they don't want you to miss out on. Also be sure to hit that join button because we've got some amazing membership perks as well as an amazing merch store. This is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We'll catch you all next episode. Oh.